Hello, happy day everyone. Dr. Amy coming to you with the Free Range Mama Project. I've got an awesome video planned for you today. We are going to talk about teething tips. Woo woo. So if you are like me, uh, when my kiddo started teething, my son started teething at seven months old, I was super shocked at how well he did and I personally believe that that was because we did specific things leading up to that um, and I'll tell you what that is in just a moment. The other thing is is I was all about doing anything and everything as long as I could keep it more on the natural holistic side. I was all about doing anything and everything I could to help ease any discomfort that he may have. So the tips that I'm going to give you guys are the things that we did with our kiddo and things that we've done uh, or that I've recommended for patients that we take care of in our clinic. So. Here we go. So the first thing we're gonna start out with, um, I'm breaking this into four steps. So the four things that we did. Um, the first one we're gonna start with is essential oils. And essential oils, I'm gonna break that into two categories. So the first category is directly on the gums or what you would call neat, applying the essential oil neat. Not all essential oils can be applied directly on the gum, but the ones I'm gonna give you are safe to do so. So the first one is Copaiba. This essential oil, this little beauty, is from Young Living. Uh, this is an awesome pain reliever for gums. Uh, I just did directly on the gum. It tastes like Thanksgiving. My son loved it. He was totally fine with it. The other one is a clove oil by Wellaments. It is organic baby tooth oil. And that again can be applied directly on the gum. So for the Copaiba, you would need to get that through Young Living and then the Wellaments. Um, I'm gonna put a link below for you guys. Those are awesome, super helpful. Um, so the second part of essential oils, and this was one of our favorite things and one of the things that my son loved. Um, he used to kind of do like this and one of these because uh, he knew exactly where it was going. So we made a roller ball. So what that looks like is I just purchased a glass empty roller ball that I could make my own essential oil roller ball roller ball with. I got this at a local health food store here in Salem. But what we did is we used fractionated coconut oil and I can put this in the comments below just as far as what the breakdown is, but fractionated coconut oil and then lavender and chamomile. And both of those are great for decreasing inflammation, um, for overall, you know, discomfort and pain relief. So we did it, uh, lavender, chamomile, fractionated coconut oil in the roller ball and then we would go along his jaw on both sides we would go underneath his chin and then we would go right behind the ear right at the occipital bone so just right below that where the um behind the earlobe is kind of like dips in so that's my second thing as part of the essential oil so the first thing is essential oil so either directly meet on the gums or the roller ball um the second tip that i have for you guys is oral care so i would say oral pain relief care i personally chose not to do tylenol i was not comfortable doing tylenol just from studies that i had seen for a kiddo as young as my son was so we did everything we could do more on the natural route again trying to relieve any discomfort but staying on the natural side so the two things that i found that were super helpful and that he totally dug were the first one was the baby highlands oral pain release so they're just little dissolvable tablets you can put them right on the tongue you can put them underneath the tongue um, they're homeopathy so that made a big difference and then the second thing and we actually came across these when my kiddo had a tongue tie revision we used it as pain relief as we had to do those stinking stretches if you've had to do that you know what i'm talking about when i say stinking stretches so um this is uh the company is b-o-i-r-o R-O-N, B-O-I-R-O-N, and it's um, Camellia Homeopathy, Homeopathic Medicine, and it is benzocaine and preservative free. It also comes in these really awesome individual tubes so that you can take these, throw these in the diaper bag, you can have it in your car, you can have it in the nursery. So it makes it super easy to have it in multiple places without losing things um, or having them, you know, your legs and walk away. So I got this at the natural food store. Um, I'm going to put a link for this below too, to help you guys out. But these two things were what we used for just overall pain relief in place of a Tylenol. So my third thing for you, third thing for you guys, um, is what we would call our frozen pops. And when I say a frozen pop, it's not what it sounds like. Um, it is these bad boys and we actually used to have six of them but my um, son loved them so much that he would take them on walks and 
well, you know, they're probably at the park somewhere. So um, these are BPA free and silicone. So essentially what we did is we just put these in a little baggie in the freezer and then we would pull one out. He could gnaw on it. And then when, you know, it was not frozen anymore, we could grab another one. And I like having all six of them so that he could use them at his discretion. But these were a uh, life changer, game changer when he was actually like breaking that tooth. When they just get more fussy, you can see their gum is inflamed and they're just not a happy kiddo. Um, they, these make a big difference. So the last thing I have for you, um, and I've had a handful of mamas that have used these. And for my kiddo, I felt like it made a huge difference. We started having my son, he started teething at seven months old. We started having him wear this amber necklace, I believe at about five or six months. And I did that because I wanted him to get used to it. If you guys have kiddos, you know that there's a point that they like become independent and they don't want to wear their hat and they don't want to do the things that you want them to do. So I was trying to beat him to that and uh, get ahead of the game. So I started having him wear it at five or six months so that he just got used to it. And I believe it made a huge difference. And I say that because when he did bust that first tooth, it was the bottom middle. I don't remember if it was right or left, but when he did, it was one of those things that I was playing with him and tickling him and I saw him laugh and I was like, oh my gosh, there's a tooth there. And it wasn't one of those situations where I'm like, you're miserable, you must be teething. So I believe that it made a big difference kind of leading into that. The, um, the other thing, so I'm gonna show you is this is the one that we have. Um, I would recommend when you're getting an amber necklace, there's different ones that you can find online. Different shops carry them. Couple things to look for. One, I know that you can't do this actually in the store, but if you purchase one and then try this and you can return it, um, amber should float in water. Real amber should float in water. Um, it should be different shaped stones and you'll feel the difference between amber and fake or plastic. So I would highly recommend being cautious of that. I will tell you for my son specifically, we, you know, with summer, we would, he started teething in July. So we would take it on, take it off. Uh, just, you know, because he had this like ridiculous little like ball tan around his neck. So we uh, ended up losing it. And I noticed a huge difference because it was during the time that he, he had busted the bottom two and then had busted in like four more and like his claws came out. So I ordered another one and again, noticed immediate calmness. It helped a lot with just his drooling and his discomfort in general. And then we ended up finding the other ones. And now he just wears both of them. So I tell you that more as a testimony that I did notice a huge difference when he was, wear was not wearing it compared to when he was. So those are my four tips for you guys. If you have questions, comment below. If it was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Let me know it was helpful. Um, I'm here to serve you guys. So if you have ideas, thoughts, um, topics you want covered, always let me know because I want to do my best to give you what you need. So bless you guys. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.